Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chara, and today we're gonna to be doing a really aggressive build for Plague. And so you can see my first perk here, which is Lethal Pursuer. Um, I see, I guess this is an Ash pretty close to me and also kind of running out in the open. Um, so I'm gonna go for him first. But the idea behind my build is I want to speed up the game. I want to be able to get into chases fast. I want to be able to end chases fast. I want the game to go fast. Um, I want gens to go fast. A little bit kidding on the last one. Um, but it's kind of true because I don't have any sort of gen slowdown or regression perks. Um, and so my idea is I just want to be able to speed up the game as opposed to trying to slow it down so we can get into this match, get into the next match. Um, so my first two perks are going to help me get into uh, chases quicker, which are the first perk, which you saw was Lethal Pursuer. So I was able to find and down the first guy fairly quickly. Um, the second perk is Monitor and Abuse, which will help me get into chases more quickly throughout the rest of the match. And so the idea behind it is just um, they'll uh, hear me coming a little later, and so hopefully they'll be, they'll get off of gens later. And so I'll be closer to them um, by the time I see them, um, so that I'll be able to you know already be there, ready to puke and vomit on them and chase them. Um, and so hopefully that'll help me get into chases faster. My third perk which is Hexblood Favor, is gonna help me end chases faster. I think Hexblood Favor, I've actually never used it on play before, but I think it actually kinda has pretty good synergy um, because it works when you know survivors get fully infected and injured. And the nice thing about that is that survivors don't get a speed boost when they get fully infected. And so normally the play as a survivor um, is to kind of be around a pallet when you get fully infected, and that way you can just throw the pallet and the you'll create space between you and the plague. I think this Claudette has a object of obsession. And I also um, see blood here, and so I know Ash is around this rock. And so hopefully Hex Blood Flavor will help me end chases quicker. And then I also really want to be utilizing my plague's power, because I think plague has one of like the best powers in the game when she has it, with her ability to like very quickly injure and down survivors. Um, so I have two add-ons that will help me with the power which is the Devotee's Amulet, which just increases the duration of my Crep Purge. I know the Dwight cleansed over here, so he should be over here. And then I also have the, the Green Apple. I forget what it's called, but um, the Green Apple just gives me a Crep Fountain just in case my survivors don't like cleansing. But it looks like these survivors do like cleansing. And then this will block the pallet so he can't use it. And then my fourth perk, I'm a little sad that I chose this perk because it goes a little bit against the grain of like trying to speed everything up, speed the game up, um, which is no way out. But my idea was that like if I'm being really aggressive in the early game and I and I am able to get my four stacks of no way out, um, then I can like slow down a little later and take the time and you know because I assume gens might be able to go a little quickly and so maybe slow it down in the end game. Um, just to to get a few hooks on the, the final survivors. Oh my god, <laughs> I was trying to puke on that survivor because he wasn't infected and then said M1. I do that all the time. Luckily that time I wasn't like hitting him on hook because I've done that several times. I don't know why, but I'm embarrassed. Okay, I think the Claudette ran down to this gen. Maybe not, though. Oh, actually, I see her over there. She looks like she's cleansing over there at that fountain. Um, I actually might go for her, um, since she's kind of, like, in this corner over here, so maybe I can kind of trap her in this corner. You see, like... You can down survivors super quickly with, with Plague of Flower. It's, it's really nice. So that's why I think this build could work pretty well on here. Oh, it's Pebble. <laughs> okay, this is good because uh, this is my fourth stack of No Way Out. I'm trying to think of what fourth perk you could use if you wanted to like entirely speed up the game. My first thought is like maybe play with your food. Um, to like literally speed you up. But then, I don't know, sometimes when you play with your food, you want it to like, kind of like farm stacks with the obsession if they 
are, are, are not catching on. And that's not really speeding things up. Maybe play with your food, though. Maybe just Hex Undying to protect your Hex Blood Favor. Because I feel like survivors are really good at finding Hexes these days. Oh, wait. Claudette is here. I know she doesn't MDS anymore. Anna, let me know if you have a, a suggestion. See the Dwight cleanse. I'm gonna go check, see if anyone's trying to unhook over here. I don't see anyone. That guy's close to hitting stage two. Oh, I see scratch marks in here. They're pretty faint though. So it'll take me a while to catch up. Unless he stops like that. Oh, I saw him, he dropped down, so I don't need to go up the stairs. Nah. I see scratch marks right here, and I also see blood too. That means that's the Claudette trying to sneak around to go for the unhook. I'm actually just gonna do a long shot. Oh my god! I didn't think that actually worked. I was actually pretty far. Wow. Man, it kind of sucks for the ace though, because it was his first hook. His teammates let him get the second hook. Um, I mean, I, I was a, a little bit proxy camping, but I was chasing a whole other survivor. Um, and then he gets hit with Plague's power immediately off hook. I actually feel kind of bad. I'm going to just hit the Dwight and then I'm going to go and uh, pick up the Ash. Ooh, I don't actually know where Ash is. I mean, he might have crawled inside main building, but one, I didn't see him. And two, the Dwight was like running out of main building, so I figured he would be running towards the Ash. I'll just go pick up Ace, who I know I saw crawling towards like the edge of the map here. Okay, he's out, he's around this rock. I am so sorry, Ace. <laughs> but we're trying to do things fast here. Okay, I saw the Ash went left, but this Dwight is running here, pretty out in the open. And also my power's here. And y'all know I love I love my power, so I'll go for Dwight here. He's not yet injured, so I'll have to injure him first. Okay, and this is Death Hook for Dwight. Um, so... We'll either give Ash hatch or he'll find hatch. And we'll move on to match two. I think this is a nice first quick game. Let's see how the next one goes. Okay, it looks like we got Sanctum of Wrath for our second match. Um, I see one survivor there, two over there. I don't see where the fourth survivor is. I'm not sure. Maybe they're hiding behind the gen over there with that one. Um, but I'm gonna go over here. I see at least Michaela. I think there's another server near here, but... Ooh, that was a mistake. Alright, she's fully infected. Alright, I'm just gonna wait out dead hard here. Looks like she doesn't have it. Okay, they, they popped that gen over there pretty quickly, which makes me think they probably two people were, were over there, and so the fourth survivor I couldn't see with Lethal Pursuer was over there. I guess maybe they were just hiding behind um, the gen. I'm just going to take a quick look to see if I see their scratch marks, but I don't want to like linger too long in a dead zone with no gens. Um, it looks like they were working on this gen. Oh, is this a sprint burst? Yeah. Okay, that didn't hit her, but that did hit the window, so she can't vault the window again without getting infected. Oh, I'm sorry, I got, I got lost for a second.
Okay, she's full infected and she's actually, she's running towards the pallet, which she's gonna get <laughs> a little rude awakening that there's no pallet there. Looks like she also is not dead hard. And see, that's what I'm saying. That the, now, I mean, she probably won't fall for the game. Man, gens are flying. I mean, that was the idea. Gens go fast. But yeah, Hexblood Favor is good on Plague. Okay, I see two survivors over here, which is good. Oh, the bill the bill might have turned around. I would have like, ideally liked to puke on him first. Oh, and Michaela cleansed over here. You know, I'm half tempted to just get the power right now. You know, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, the bill got infected anyway, so it's fine. Ah, uh, neither of them. What's the Michaela trying to- is she trying to body block a plague with power? You know what, I'll go for you. And then another nice thing about Hexblood Favor is you like have to worry less about like right, like that situation. Like I didn't have to worry about her trying to stun me um, and like respecting that pallet so in order to keep my power. Um, if you didn't know, if you stun a plague while she's in her corrupt purge, which is like the red one that downs you, um, you lose your power. Um, so most plagues will sometimes like respect pallets like that, but it feels nice to just be able to like go through them and not not care because I had the the hex blood fever to to fall back on. So I know the the UE cleansed over there, but I'm not sure if she's sticking around. Sure, the other two aren't Jen, so I want to I want to go pressure them. Yeah, this is going quick. It's what we wanted, though. We can't can't complain. We get this down fairly quickly. I see a survivor running there. Um, the other survivor got the unhook because there was no way it was the survivor. I'm not sure where this one went though. I'm just gonna refresh my power. I'm worried since they unhooked over here, they might be on this far gen. Oh wait, what? I thought I heard like someone cleansing a bone or something, but no, no one's on that gen. I feel like I have to get so close to gens because her, her little whispers and her power are so loud. It's actually pretty exciting. I'm a person that really likes to like listen and like hear people breathing around corners. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna do a long shot here. Ooh, that did hit someone. Oh, three people are here. Okay, if I can get this down quickly, I can then go back to the other people. Oh, this Ellie's pretty good though. She's doing good spins. <laughs> right, they got Hex Blood Favor. Okay, I did find Bill here. My power's about to run out. I actually might wait for my puke to come back um, and then just like try to get him fully infected. They'll probably be able to get Elodie up here. Yeah, they did. I think another add on that might work well with this build is the ones that increase the vial purge effectiveness. That way you can get people infected quickly. Plague has, I feel like, a lot of, like, cool and interesting add-ons. Unlike Executioner, they need to buff Executioner's add-ons. Alright, I'm not sure where they went. I'm just gonna out and get my power. I might be working on this gen over here. Two of them are still injured, so they're not healing. Oh, I hear, is that LD? Yeah. Oh, she's pretty far, though. They probably finish the unhook and maybe get the gen done if I chase this, but. Ah! 
This LD is pretty good. I have a hook here. I think they probably finished last gen. I'll just check to make sure like the the force survivor is not working on this gen here. Because I assume like Bill and whoever unhooked them are gonna get on this this gen I'm looking at in the far corner. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so this is why we have no way out, just because we were concerned that gents might fly. It looks like Bill's right here. They did no activate no way out though, pretty quickly. And I'm almost out of power, which is not that great. I might, since I know I have time, unless I see someone right here, which I don't. Um, I might just go and grab my power in this corner right here. Since this is a good opportunity, since I know they can't be opening gates, so they're probably just hiding. I'm gonna go up here to see if I can use my like high vantage point to see any scratch marks or anything. I do see someone here. Okay, looks like they canceled going for the unhook. Okay, UE cleansed. LD might be the only one trying to save this guy. He might be dead. Sorry, Bill. Okay, Ellie's here though. She's kind of crowd this way, <coughs> which is good for me. And uh, I see the red light here, so I'm gonna go for the survivor on this gate here. All right. Now, I'm not sure where Mikhail is. I kind of feel like she might be around the other gate, so she might not be here to immediately pick up that LED, which is what I'm hoping for, at least. But she might have been around trying to get the unhook on Bill. Ah, uh, no, she did She did get her up. Or, I mean, she might have had Unbreakable. Now, if, if, if she had that gate 99, they're out. Oh, someone ran up here. It looks like there's no blood, so it looks like this must be Michaela. She might be trying to just like divert my attention. Okay, yeah, she does have this gate open. Um, I mean, Michaela can take a hit and just run out. I ideally kind of want to, I might be able to like get her infected and then like kind of zone her away. Okay, I did get her infected. She's running. I think she might be trying to run out, but I think I can fully infect her. There we go. I don't think she has death heart either. You know, the LD might have ran out and tried to get the, the save. The guy's close to dying, or Yui's close to dying, though. Ooh, she did get it, man. Good job. Now, I, th I think they get that, that other gate and they're out, though. They're 100% out. Yeah. Okay, well, these were a really fun two matches. I really like the aggressive, speeded up play style. Let me guys know if you have any suggestions for, I don't know, other killers that might this might be fun with or suggestions to this build itself. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.